Hello, everybody. My name is Lonnie, and you may know me from Art Book Reviews with Lonnie. This is a vlog. This is not an art book review. So I'll just be talking, and you guys can do something in the background while you just listen to me talk, and we'll just chill and relax together for a little while. It's the summer, so just stay cool and listen up. First, I want to thank everybody that's watching for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, like, and I thank you and I appreciate you for supporting me. It really means a lot. So uh, what have I been reading this summer? I just finished the book Steve Jobs by Isaac, no, Walter Isaacson. Yes, Steve Jobs by Walter Isaacson. I've been reading it for a couple of months. It's like 500 and something pages, and it was a great book. It left me feeling inspired, inspired, hopeful, and make, wanting to make a contribution to humanity. Steve Jobs, like any other man, is not perfect, but he made some great contributions to technology and the humanities. One of the reasons why I say that he was great for making contributions is because I've seen personally, well, not personally, online, um, um, different, differently abled people, like blind people, using the iPad to communicate, to learn, to play games, to just live their life as if they didn't have their um, handicap. And it's been just so incredible. So. Steve Jobs was an amazing man, and it's it's good to, to see where the iPad, the iPod, the iPhone, iCloud, Apple, where the, the roots are, the origin, the, the origin story of, of places like that. And you'll you learn a little bit about people when you read the book. So I highly recommend the book. It was it was a pleasure to read. What am I listening to? I am listening to um uh, I say I listen, I'm listening to a couple of different things. Sometimes I listen to Hamilton um, soundtrack with, by Lynn Manuel Miranda and the, the cast and crew. But um, for the most part, I've been listening to Taylor Swift's three albums that came out most recently: Evermore, Folklore, and um, Midnight. My favorite song on Evermore is um, "Long Story Short." I love the melody, the beat. The beat is crazy. It's not like a hip hop beat, but like the way it introduces the music and it just stays with you while you're singing it or listening to it. It's great. There's also um, The Last Great American Dynasty. Um, it tells the story of um, Rebecca Harkness and how she married. She she got rich overnight by marrying someone very wealthy. And then slowly she spent it all and the holiday house that they bought, Taylor eventually bought it. And I just think it's a great story. Uh, Taylor's really impressive when it comes to storytelling. She doesn't just write breakup songs. She is a, a, a true artist, a poet, a songwriter. She's incredible. I love Taylor Swift. Um, and Midnight's my favorite song is You're On Your Own Kid. Um, the song is, is basically You're On Your Own Kid. You always have been. It tells the story of somebody going through a summer. Or, well, let's not dissect the song. It, I don't, I'm not 100% sure what the undertones and what it all means, but I like the song. I don't believe you're ever really on your own. If you have Jesus, I'm a Christian, but I still do like the song. It has a nice beat. The lyrics are very vivid. You can picture everything in your head, and it really builds up to something incredible near the end of the song. And I like that song is a master class in songwriting. I love it. It's it's really good. All right. And um, as far as video games, I'm also a video gamer. So I've been playing Spider-Man Remastered this summer. And um, it's it, it was a good game. I played Spider-Man Miles Morales. And I like that game even more than this one. It's more polished. But the, it's kind of counterintuitive why I like Miles Morales more than Spider-Man Remastered. Spider-Man Miles Morales was shorter. It was an eight-hour game. I finished it relatively quickly, like in 
two or three days, I was able to get through the entire thing. And um, I really enjoyed that. It was just like a quick snack, you know? I can't, I'm an adult, so I don't really have time to play a lot of video games. And when the game is like 20, 30 hours, it'll take months to, to finish it because I don't really have time to play every day. But um, I finally beat Spider-Man Remastered and I enjoyed the game. The caveat is this. If you play it on a 4K large screen, you'll experience it much better. It's like just so good. But if you play on a smaller 1080p screen, um, not so much. But I experienced both, and I have to say the bigger screen really matters. Okay. And finally, the reason for the blog. I just wanted to talk a little bit about AI art. Yeah, because I'm an artist also. So I'm an artist. I've been making digital art to share online since 2004. I used to go to Naruto forums, and we would have this uh, competition called Sketch of the Week. And it was the most enjoyable thing for me. You'd make art, you'd post it, and everybody else would post their art. And at the end of the week, we would all um, we would all vote to see who the winner is of the art competition based on the same topic. Everyone drew the same topic. So it was like every week I would do that. But slowly people started falling off and then it wasn't as popular as it used to be and then eventually we stopped um but i didn't stop making art i just enjoyed sharing my art online having friends in in like deviant art or 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 other sites like naruto forums um, art gallery and we would just share our art we would chat really quickly we wouldn't go really in depth, but like it felt like community and it was something I, I truly enjoyed. I would and eventually I started learning more about art through art books and video tutorials just to get better and better so that one day I could do it for a living because I, I really enjoyed making art. But now thinking about it, maybe I just love the community, the competition, everything like that. And I'll tell you why. So there, there's AI art. And if you don't know, AI stands for artificial intelligence, where a computer can just make art. A person will type in a prompt, like let's say you want anime girl um, with a sword, and you type it into an AI generator like Mid Journey, and then it'll spit, spit out a picture based on all the learning it's done on the internet through other artists' pictures. And basically, it made it so that people who don't know anything about art could relatively quickly generate something that they could post online as art. And it's been happening in um, DeviantArt and ArtStation. And all my art community brethren, friends, they just decided, you know what? We're not going to deal with this. That AI art devalues our art. So they decided they would just leave the art communities where people are just flooding the um the 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 places with AI art. And um there's nobody to share your art with really anymore. You might go on um Deviant Art and you basically have to ignore all the AI art. You have to like excuse me. You have to like filter it out of your mind because the front page will be covered in it because it does look good. But at the same time, a human didn't create it. A computer just generated it. So it it, it might have value to somebody, but I don't value it in the fact that it took you nothing to make it. So what what is it like? What is it doing for you as an as a person who's generating that? I don't get it. But for us who are artists, it's devaluing our work. And some of us aren't as proficient at making art as AI. So it could cause you to give up, give up making art because I don't know. What I'm trying to say is there's no more community. And um, I kind of feel like there's no point in making art anymore. 
because there's nobody to share with. There's no group of people. Um, the, sure, there are Discord uh, uh, servers with people still making art, but I feel like I feel like it, we're in the matrix, right? So we're in the matrix, and everything was going great. We were in the matrix world, and then somebody just took us out of the matrix and took us to Zion in one of those ugly ships, in those dark uh, crevices with with um, pipes everywhere and steam steampunk aesthetics but everybody's in rags and stuff and it's just really bland and ugly and that's what discord feels like to me sometimes like it just feels like the basement or the back room of the internet it doesn't feel as like well put together or as beautiful as deviant art used to be or art station was a few years ago just just a few years ago years ago sometime like 2020 or 2019 2019 art station was awesome you'd go there every day you'd see new art in your in your um, messages and you'd like some you would wonder why the artist made others you'd comment and you'd get off and it would inspire you to continue making art of your own but now there's nobody to share it with there's a lot of ai art and the people that have stayed on those sites there aren't that many that are still making high quality art. So it becomes, I don't know, there's an emptiness in me thinking about all that. And as an optimist, I'm going to hold on because I know things will get better. But right now, I feel like crap. And I don't know. I don't know if anybody else feels the same way who is an artist, but I don't feel good about AI art. Ever since it, it, it started to really affect the community and people were pulling themselves off and large droves of people started moving on to Discord. I just didn't feel like making art anymore. But I'm going to pray about it. I'm sure the Lord will answer my prayers and things will get better. But I just felt like making a vlog. Just something to say, hi guys, I'm still here. And it's summertime, so... Well, yeah. Well, I hope to make some more vlogs in the future. Um, I'm going to do some more art reviews, art book reviews. Oh, let me let me big up one artist. So there's this artist named Tom Fox. I don't know if you ever heard of him. He goes as Tom Fox Draws on um, Instagram. Yeah, Instagram. And uh, he has a Domestica course on Domestica. And look for him. Tom Fox drugs. Why should you look for him? He creates a, um, a construction method on how to draw figures and from imagination. And he goes through how he became such a great artist. He's a storyboard artist. And he created a book too. I would say take his domestic course if you're interested in learning how to make um, construction figures and also buy his book if you're interested in learning about how to draw characters in poses, and really dive into anatomy in a construction method. Uh, the advantages to a construction method is you draw a simple figure. You can turn it anywhere in space because it's uh, usually a rectangle or a cylinder. Um, you turn it any direction in space, and then you draw the features on top of it, and it always comes out looking good because you constructed before you built everything on top of it. Check him out, Tom Fox Draws. I really recommend him. And um, yeah, um, so that's it for today. Thank you guys for sticking with me. I wish you all the best. Um, let me know in the comments if anybody needs prayer. I can pray for you. Um, let me know if you have any suggestions on what I could talk about in my next video. Um, I'll give you some progress as how it's, how it's coming my art journey and also um i'd like to say i give a shout out to my friends online there's garrett who goes by magic on naruto forums uh, fanverse.com um there's loco travel uh what's up guy uh there's there's a few other people uh, well those those two guys <laughs> those two guys are my my main guys I, um, I talk to them every once in a while on Discord and on the forums. 
So um, to everybody else, thank you. I love you so much. Um, continue to stay cool. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Later, skater.